I'm happy when I go on the wing, I, I just play with the game I don't care about win a lot, I just do my best Hello Imagine walking along a sidewalk, no one is around, the weather is great, everything at that very moment is perfect How would you feel? Now imagine walking along the edge of a skyscraper, the emotions involved are very different and innately if you are forced to do it, your nerves, anxiety, fear, their psychological and physiological response would affect your ability to walk in a straight line which might result in a mistake, thus freefall. But hypothetically, if you could have a similar mentality to when you were just walking on a sidewalk, would anything really happen? If you could walk successfully along a sidewalk 100% of the time, taking that same grace to a perilous edge, would danger really exist if all you had to do is still walk in a straight line? Now what if you further trained and further refined your prowess to do so? But now considering the highly skilled legend, Lurzilla, he has his own approach. Instead of shelling into a lower risk defense, he increases torso mobility by lowering his center of gravity, the hands down style, trusting his reaction to deal with what comes forward. This paired with his feeling mind explains why he is so elusive. A high reaction fighter who constantly looks to feign intent is tricky, sneaky, hear the teep, but now the follow up only looks like a teep at first. In comes a question mark kick which was probably inspired by Taekwondo or Karate. And notice how relaxed he is, like he's taking a walk in the park. That's what he is doing, look at how quickly he transitions between skills and styles, keeping his opponents on the edge of their toes, unable to predict what is going to happen next. It's too fast, it's unpredictable, he's not thinking, this is a seamless creative flow transitioning throughout his arsenal based upon what the moment calls. This is why we often see his opponents backing up, it's because of his loose high reaction style. They keep hitting air, it becomes frustrating, meanwhile as he inches closer to the pocket, they do not know what to expect. The mental pressure formed by his arsenal of unpredictability and the counters they have you thinking, trying to figure him out, innately slowing down your reactions whilst he is in flow, ready to smash the openings he's felt in your style. It's overwhelming, constant looks shown from different disciplines, all strung together by a firm Muay Thai foundation pounded from the age of 9. The result, a beautiful display of high risk Muay Thai fusion, naturally. The result is a walk down and the concussions occur, not from power but through misdirection. When you think one way but are hit another, you are not braced to take the shock. It's as Miyamoto Musashi had said, in battle if you make the opponent flinch, you have already won. That is why it's the shot you do not see coming that knocks you out. Lord Silla is truly formless, like water by virtue of his many looks training different styles and his loose, relaxed creative flow, which is permissible by virtue of not fearing failure but instead being free of outcome. I don't care about win a lot, I just do my bit. Having fun. I'm happy when I go on the wing, I, I just play with the game. Freedom from outcome and a focus on the game in the moment. These are lessons we may take from Lord Silla, for that is where not just our battles take place, but life in its entirety.